Thank you, Fritz. Nearly two weeks now after he died, family and friends of a little four-year-old protested outside the Department of Children and Family Services. NBC Force Angie Crouch is live for us right now in Westlake. Angie. Yeah, Chuck, Noah Quattro is the fourth little boy to die in the past six years while under the supervision of L.A. County's Department of Children and Family Services. Today, his great-grandmother was joined by relatives of several of those other children calling for a state and federal investigation into the department. These protesters are demanding greater accountability by L.A. County's Department of Children and Family Services following the July 6 death of four-year-old Noah Quattro. The boy's parents told police he drowned in a pool at their Palmdale home, but sheriff's investigators say they found trauma to his body inconsistent with drowning. This beautiful little boy died at the hands of somebody who likely beat him up. Just two months before Noah died, a court ordered he be removed from his parents' home due to abuse allegations and turned over to his great-grandmother. But that order was never carried out, despite the child's desperate pleas. He would tell me, Grandma, don't do this. Don't send me back. Don't make me go. Stop killing our children. These protesters believe DCSF needs a major overhaul, since Noah's death comes on the heels of three other little boys who died under the department's supervision in recent years, including Gabriel Fernandez and Anthony Avalos, also from the Antelope Valley, and Armand's Andresian Jr. from Pasadena. Hearing about this is just opens up even the wound even more. It's just sad that no changes have like been made. If they're overworked, then they um, need to get more help, or they need to get out. If they can't do the job, they need to get out. Noah Quattro's parents have been questioned by the sheriff's department, but have not been charged with any crime. Their three other children have been placed in protective custody while the investigation continues. Now, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors is also calling for a review of Noah's case. And Bobby Cagle, the head of the Department of Children and Family Services, today spoke with our Lolita Lopez from our I-Team. He admits that uh, the system did fail Noah and more needs to be done. You're going to hear from him directly coming up at 6 o'clock. For now, that's the very latest from the Westlake District. Angie Crouch. NBC4 News.